Morning. How are hey, you? Hey, How are you? Good, good. Yeah. yeah. So what's the plan today? Well, it's flat on the North Shore, so we should go try the South Shore. It's going to be nooking windy, I think, and we go try some small sails. Put a lot of time training this spot that we go today, and it's not what I'll call a fun spot. I only do this because I don't want to travel so much and be away from my family. Here in Maui, you know, if you don't do the effort sometimes, you can go a lot of months without going for a tech. I get really scared on days like this and it's windy, you know, 3-5 offshore gusts of the ramps, but it's it's part of it and um, the more you do it, the more you get comfortable for sure. It's always, always scary and you can always go higher, there's always something else to improve. It's nice too, every now and then get a couple of days on the other side and it keeps it fresh too, then when you go back to your keeper, you appreciate it even more. Here in Maui, everybody, it's like so supportive. The guys with the bars, whenever I need something, they get it done so quick. If it needs change, they change, and it's constant work on the gear. Jason Diffin with the sails, Keith. I look, look up to Francisco a lot. He had an amazing career, and he's very knowledgeable and sensitive about gear. And then Sarah Hauser, you know, like she trains us year round. And even when we are not here, I'm always in contact with her. to compete competition pushes you to a place that free sailing doesn't and pushes you really hard you know the adrenaline and when you're in a heat that you're not afraid to try moves and all that competition puts you on a different mindset and then and I went through some of the best times of my life I, I, I really enjoyed I think gear is super important like it's a very big part of everything I was able to put a lot of work into boards for onshore and for small waves and things that are usually hard for me to do because you in the winter here it's fiery and we'll keep it saying we'll keep it. I had a lot of time to train on those boards and when I got to the contest I was feeling fit and good but also I didn't have any doubt about equipment. I feel like I'm not so much, I'm not one of the crazy guys. Um, I do a lot of repetition before I try something really big and I only try when I feel full control and, and I've been doing it a lot. I just hope people see me as somebody that loves sailing and that really put a lot of energy into it. You know, I, at the end of the day, I do it because I really, really love this sport and I hope that people can see that.